Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages you're being guided to right now. It's a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most and a reading for those of you that need it the most. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's begin with the messages. At the bottom of the deck is the Empress energy. It's interesting, but I feel like I get an energy that you're being too hard on yourself or that you've been pushing yourself too hard lately. You may feel as though there is something in your life that is testing your limits or someone is like pushing like they keep pushing your buttons or they keep testing you or they keep like I said push, pu pushing your emotional buttons um, you may be feeling really underappreciated by someone you might also be feeling really really run down what's going on here I feel like you're very focused on pushing yourself forward or you're pushing yourself be careful that you're not overdoing it be careful that like i get that there's forward momentum and there's driving your energy but careful that you're not careful that you're not pushing yourself too much There's also, I feel like there's also someone new in your life, or there's someone coming your way. This person feels like they're a very stable energy. If this is a romantic relationship, then I feel like there's someone coming your way who's going to provide you a lot of stability, and there's longevity here. If it's a situation, or if it's a job, or a career opportunity, very stable, a lot of longevity, um, very rewarding as well you definitely you can count on being blessed there's some success that's coming your way there's some adventure or some opportunity that is coming your way so you can definitely count on being blessed I also feel like you have a very solid influence in your life someone who maybe this is this person is pushing you they're pushing you to do your best or they're motivating you but just be careful they're not they're not pushing you to too hard um devil's energy i feel like you're you might be leaning into the devil's energy a little bit um this could be there's something or someone that's draining your energy and this is why you may be feeling very fatigued very tired very exhausted or this could be emotional turmoil as well but the devil has the wings or the baphomet has the wings of a bat and a bat is a life, is a creature that sucks the life force out of its prey. So there's someone around you who I feel like it could be an enemy but disguising themselves as a friend. Or there's something that you might be taking for pleasure but it really doesn't have, it doesn't give you any benefit. Okay, if anything it's taking a toll on you. Whilst it provides you short-term pleasure... It is also giving you long-term pain so it could be a substance of some sort it could be drugs it could be alcohol it could be sugar there's some sort of addictive quality to whatever this is or whomever this is that 
you cannot pull away okay could be a person um the devil also oftentimes represents an ex so it could be the energy of an ex but you cannot seem to pull away from this person you cannot seem to cut ties from this person or you cannot seem to put an end to whatever addiction this is i get it it's got an addictive quality but it's it's leaving you it's not healthy and it's leaving you feeling very drained like i said it's giving you short-term pleasure but you have to weigh that up against the long-term pain it's causing you Something someone has said, I feel like, has caused you to pull away. Something someone has said, there's been some sort of fight or disagreement or some sort of argument that someone said something and I think it hurt you. I think maybe they didn't mean to, maybe there was no malice attached to this, but I don't know why it really got to you. I don't know, I don't think they were purposely trying to, you know, weaponize their words. They said something that really got under your skin or they said something that really caused you to pull away. I feel like they emotionally triggered you in some way or I feel like they've caused for some sort of, for something unhealed and unresolved that resides in your energy to come back up. So it may not be so much what this person said or maybe even how they said it. Or who said it rather I just feel like there's something that was said that somehow caused caused you this pain I feel like there's someone around you that wants to communicate with you but is having a hard time reaching you or is having a hard time getting access to you but of course the energies could be in reverse maybe there's someone whom you want to communicate with it could be the energy of an ex could be someone you've had the fight with could be someone that you just you love but you have a love-hate relationship with this person like there's a lot of back and forth with this person but you might be wanting to communicate with this person but you just feel like you don't have the words to say to them or you feel like they've hurt you i feel like you're also using silence as or they may be using silence as a strategy um, and they may be using it like as leverage or maybe you just feel like you need the time you need the time away from this person, the situation, or the drama, whatever this is, and you need some time to process your thoughts. But I'm definitely picking up pain. I'm definitely picking up hurt or wounds. So I don't know if it's the person that I'm talking to, or I don't know if this is the person that is connected to you. There are holding patterns that I'm seeing in the energies. There are some holding patterns. There are some things that you're holding on to that are not healthy, that are not good for you. Okay, it could be addictions. It could be a relationship that's not healthy. I know the word toxic gets thrown around a lot these days, but it really does feel like that. It really feels like there's an element or a quality of toxicity or addiction um, to whatever or whomever this is. Um, interestingly enough you're relying you're really leaning into this energy but you know what you think that this is not the problem this addiction is not the problem you see this addiction as the solution to your problem the solution the, the actual problem the reason why you're reaching for this addiction is because it soothes a pain it soothes, soothes a pain or an emotional wound in you temporarily Okay, it gives you that short-term pleasure, but it's actually causing you a lot of short-term pain, a long-term pain. There is something here that you're trying to shield yourself from. You're trying to create a barrier from. Something that you're trying to run away from. You have to dig deep. Whatever this is, your addictions, I don't, the way you, the way I see it for you, I don't think you see it as a problem. I think you see it as a solution to this problem. The problem lies within. The problem is something emotional internal psychological it's it's inner okay but you're using outside influences to to soothe yourself or to numb yourself i feel like it's i'm also seeing that you're feeling quite 
or someone around you is feeling very protective it's like they're very defensive they're very protective there's a lot of they're engaging in some defensive or protective action so they're doing or saying things to there's like protective measure that they're taking they may be doing or saying things to shield their heart or shield themselves from pain or from hurt i feel like there's some sort of upcoming move i feel like there's travel indicated in the cards for you so you might be moving to um, a new home you might be moving into a new place you might be uh, traveling it may be overseas it might be interstate it may be you might be just tra moving into it like traveling to a new city but there is some travel that is being indicated i also feel like there's some sort of you're a bless you're being blessed with an opportunity okay you're being blessed with an opportunity could have something to do with online though as well um some sort of offer comes through or an invitation comes through to travel or there's some sort of opportunity that comes up it may be international but i think there are blessings coming your way you want to be prepared when this shows up you want to be prepared so that you can meet the opportunity you do not want to have the opportunity show up and you not be prepared for it and you miss the boat the boat leaves the harbor without you on it you don't want that to happen because i feel like something like this like the magnitude of this doesn't come around very often could it be a romantic energy could it be a person yes but i feel like it's more an opportunity but sure it can be someone that shows up in your life someone very compatible someone very stable someone quite successful very confident um a very secure energy but although there's a lot of stability like a lot of security and stability in this person's energy there's also a lot of movement around this person so i feel like although this person may show up in your life i don't know if they're there to stay very long purely because they do a lot of traveling or they move around a lot like they work around the world or they work or live in a different part of the world that's if this is indeed a romantic energy if it is an opportunity it it's an opportunity that doesn't come around very often so don't miss it this this is a bit of a warning because much like adam and eve in the picture here notice how the chains are loosely um they're not tight and they're sort of loosely wrapped around both adam and eve that gives us the impression that they're able to escape at any time that they wish but they choose to stay because they the longer that they stay in this situation the more closely do they start resembling the devil itself look at their sprouting little horns so what i'm saying is like your situation is consuming you you're becoming a part of whatever it is that you're leaning into and you're no longer are able to tell just how dark of an energy this is or just how much darkness it's bringing into your light into your world because it's like it's overtaking the light it's casting a shadow over your life all right i'm gonna leave the messages there thanks for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing or subscribing Keep shining your light. Bye for now.